قبل الله من الشيطان العين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم عيد مبارك ساري بي واسكو as it is quite familiar to all of us that the whole globe is acutely suffering from a pandemic COVID-19 so taking into account the suffering end of the students Kargi Lecturer Forum in collaboration with different organization be it religious organization or social organization has taken an initiative which has been held by the community. So in this endeavor, I, Muhammad Hussain, Lecturer Botany, is here before you to make you people understand about some basic facts of botany. As for the botany subject is concerned, we have already started with the subject of botany, the 12th first unit by Mr. Rahul Sahib, and L1 portion has been taken already by Mr. Sajjad Hussain in Jarish Principal, Government uh, Higher Secondary School, Pashkum. So today I am here with the second unit of class 12th, that is genetics, the principles of inheritance and variation. As for this very genetics, the second unit is concerned, very interesting unit, as for the understanding of biology as a whole is concerned. And another thing is that it is very interesting with the respect to the fact that it actually lays the foundation stone of the biology as a whole. When you talk about the molecular biology, you must have a good understanding of genetics. So let us start with Principles of inheritance and variation. Dear students, we have commonly observed that when a lady gives birth to her baby, we often remark that the baby has his father's nose, mother's eye, uncle's nose, like this. So this is commonly observed that the offspring or the progenies got something in inheritance from their parents means that there is transfer of characters, transmission of characters from parents to their offsprings. In English, there is an aphorism, like begets like, means a horse give birth to horse, a cow give birth to cow, a rose plant give rise to rose plants, means all the characters of the parent rose is handed over to the next generation. So what we mean by this transfer of character? So, this is what we call it as hereditary. The transfer of characters from parents to their generation, from parents to their offspring, from parents to their young ones is called it as hereditary. Means, Transfer of characters from parents to their offspring. Parents means generation. Offsprings mean next generation. We can also define it. Transfer of characters from transfer of characters from one generation to the next generation. So the transmission of character, the handed over of characters, the transfer of characters from parents to their offspring from one generation to the next generation is called as hereditary. No doubt, the offspring of the young ones show remarkable resemblances with their offsprings. Parents get a coffee relationships. Thus, it means that the offspring are the young ones show resemblances with their parents in all respect. 
इसका मतलब क्या ये हुआ कि जो बच्चे जो पैदा हो जाता है क्या वो एग्जैक्टली सिमिलर होता है एग्जैक्टली आइडेंटिकल होता है द आंसर इज नो मीन्स ड्यूरिंग रिप्रोडक्शन नो डाउट देर इज ट्रांसफर ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स अदर ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स इन नो डाउट देर इज क्लोज रिजम्बलेंसिस बिटवीन पेरेंट्स एंड ऑफ but one thing the resemblance is between the parents and offspring is not in all respect even being the offspring of the same parents there is a lot of differences among the offspring of the same parent between the parents and it is offspring or we can say among the members of the same species for example we are all the members of the same species homo sapiens do we are the members of the same species homo sapiens still there is a lot of differences among the members of the same species these differences among the members of the same species or among the offspring of the same parent is call it as variation so what is variation no doubt there is resemblances between the parents and offspring still there is a lot of differences between the parents and it is offspring the differences among the parents or among the members of the same parents or between the parents or the offspring is called as variation or the differences among the members of the same species is called as variation now the question arises how to make this variation and uh, what we call heredity make understand in order to study heredity and variation we have got a specific branch of biology what we call it as genetics but before going into the detail of the genetics let us try to understand what we means of what we mean by inheritance generally most of the student get a confusion between hereditary and inheritance a little bit and slight difference between hereditary and inheritance heredity means simple transmission of characters or the transfer of characters but inheritance means the mechanism of transfer of characters from parents to their offspring or the mechanism of transfer of characters from one generation to the next generation this mechanism is called as inheritance mechanism of transfer of characters from parents to their offspring is called it as inheritance or the mechanism of transfer of characters from one generation parents means one generation and offspring means the next generation so this is called it as inheritance so let us go into the details of the inheritance variation and heredity for which we have to study genetics
Within biology, we have got so many branches of interesting and fascinating branches of biology, among which genetics is also an interesting branch. What is genetics? Genetics is that branch of biology which deals with the study of mechanism of transfer of characters. It, will, it teaches us how the transfer of characters take, take place from parents to their offspring, or how the transfer of character takes place from one generation to the next generation. The branch of the biology which deals with the mechanism of transfer of character, what is the underlying process, how it occurs, all the processes involved in hereditary and inheritance is called it as genetics. Not only this, it also teaches us the causes of the differences among the offspring of the same parent, the causes of the differences among the members of the same species. We transfer of character, transfer of character, hereditary hereditary kaha aur is mechanism ko humne inheritance kaha walidain se bachchon mein transfer of character hone ke bawajood ek hi parent hone ke bawajood parents aur bachchon mein kafi differences hai aur differences ko humne variation kaha sawal peda hota hai transfer of character kaise hote sir ji aap mujhe question karenge how the transfer of character takes place so in order to understand a better understanding of the transfer of characters we have got a specific branch of biology what we call it is Genetics. It is the genetics which teaches us the mechanism of transfer of characters. Okay, sir, I understood. So the transfer of character takes place in this way. Now the next question is, however, I have got all my characters from my parent and my brother too, but still there is a lot of difference between me and my brother, me and my, my sister. So what is the actual reason? So this genetics also teaches us the reasons of differences among the offspring of the same parents or among the members of the same species. Genetics. Okay, better. So this is all about what we mean by genetics, what we mean by heredity, what we mean by variation, and what we mean by inheritance. Simple transfer of characters from parents to their offspring, from one generation to the next generation is called hereditary. The mechanism of transfer of character is called inheritance. The differences among the offspring of the same parent is called variation, or the differences among the members of the same species is called as variation. What is genetics? The branch of the biology which deals with the study of mechanism of transfer of characters from parents to their offspring, mechanism of transfer of characters from one generation to the next generation. Question one can answer me later. Dusra, it also teaches us the cause. What are the causes? The causes of the differences between the offspring of the same parent and between the yeah, among the members of the same species. Now the question arises, who coined the term genetics? The word genetics was given by The term genetics was coined by Bateson, if I'm correct, in 1906, but he's not regarded as the father of genetics. Father of genetics is Gregor John Mendel. Question arises. Why Mendel, however, the term genetics was coined by the Benson, but why Mendel is regarded as the father of genetics? Because before Mendel, some researches so many studies were carried on genetics. 
but the actual mechanism of transfer of characters for the first time was studied by Mendel. Mendel, who for the first time studied the mechanism of transfer of character, and it was Mendel who for the first time put forward some principles and postulates of genetics, about which we will talk in the coming lectures. So in order to make a better understanding of genetics, we will divide the genetics into three sections, pre-Mendelian genetics, Mendelian genetics and post Mendelian genetics. As I have already told you there. Mendel was the father of genetics. Before Mendel, so many scientists were there who also studied about some basic facts of genetics, basic facts of principles of inheritance and variation. And so, let us have an eye, let us have a light on those very postulates and the principles given by those very scientists pre Mendelian. Within pre Mendelian genetics are the pre Mendelian principles of inheritance and variations. So many scientists were there who put forward their idea about the transfer of characters, among which first come moist vapor theory. Shortly, we can also designate this. Weber theory. This very Weber theory was given by Pythagoras. What he said? Weber theory. The term itself tells us that all the organism release some vapors from their body. These vapors aggregate in the female and after aggregation it gives rise to young ones offspring new ones means What happens? Every part of our body releases some vapor. It believes. Pythagoras believes that every part of our body, every part of the living organism contributes some amount of the vapor. These three vapors aggregate, come together. And after aggregation, it results in the formation of new ones, young ones. Means the transfer of character takes place from parents to their offspring via vapor. That is why this is called as vapor theory, given by Pythagoras. Then came another scientist, namely Aristotle. Aristotle believed that both male and female produces 
periploda tubular but as for Aristotle the male produce pure reproductive blood and female produce impure reproductive blood the pure and the impure reproductive bloods come into contact in the female body and after they coagulate and after coagulation they give birth to they give rise to young ones means transfer of character is take, taking place through two types of bloods pure type of blood contributed by the male counterpart and impure blood contributed by female partners So this is what Aristotle believes. The male secrete or the male produce pure reproductive blood and the female produce impure reproductive blood. The pure and the impure reproductive blood come into contact. They coagulate and after coagulation they form young ones, new ones, offspring. So the transfer of character in case of reproductive blood theory takes place through reproductive blood. Two types of reproductive blood. One important thing here is that because male blood is more pure as compared to the female reproductive blood, it believes that the offspring may get most of the characters from the male partner. Means the male contributes more in the characters of the offspring. This is what is most important. The contribution of male is more. This is important. Means the offspring will inherit most of the characters from male partner. Why? Male partner is more pure. So this is all about reproductive blood theory given by Aristotle. Then comes the turn of another scientist, Swamarthan. Swamarthan gave pre-formation theory. What pre-formation theory believes? Swamarthan believes that the male and female gametes already contain some pre-formed forms of living things, miniature form of living things, many forms of living things. miniature and many forms of living things both from male counterpart and female counterpart come into contact during the course of fertilization and it is this fertilization which triggers the formation of young ones out of these miniature particles. Thank you.
means the game it all the ready contain the miniature forms of living things they are given it all the ready contains the mini forms are the miniature forms of the living things what they need is just a trigger and here the process of fertilization act as a trigger just after fertilization the mini forms of the living things get transformed into complete young ones or uh, new individuals and the last one is pen genesis theory of pen genesis was given by darwin it also believes that both the male and the female both the sexes contribute or release some particles and these particles were called it like pre formation theory this theory also believes that male and female releases some particles but here the particles are called as gametes or pen genes it is these pen genes which contains all the information for character formation from pen genes are the gametes the information are handed over to the gametes gametes then undergo fertilization after fertilization young ones call it embryo is formed in the embryo the pen genes guide the formation of young ones means both the male and the female sex uh, uh, both the male and the female counterparts uh, release some particles called gametes or pen genes the gametes and the pen genes contain information for the character formation from pen genes the characters are the handed over to the gametes we then the gamete undergo fertilization then we after fertilization they form the what we call an embryo within the embryo the pen genes contribute the pen genes guide the formation of the all the characters in the young ones so this is all about the pre mendelian genetics next session we will come with Uh, Mendelian genetics. Thank you. If you have any queries, misunderstandings, or misunderstanding, you, you are free to contact us at this WhatsApp number nine four six nine six three nine eight three. Thank you.